Yo, 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 good people. It's your homie Herb, man. And you back upside the head with another hot banger boogie. Hey, look, go tell somebody to go tell somebody your homie Herb, man, is on. And if you're new, if this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Go ahead and hit that logo right at the bottom of your screen and hit that notification bell so that you never miss what we bring to the table, all right? And for all of you guys out there, it is okay for you to hit like and share to encourage us to continue to bring you this information. So what we're talking about today are just some helpful tips into allowing us to navigate and maneuver into healthy lifestyle, okay? And one of the biggest things I want to talk about is the choices, okay? The choice that we have. Every morning that we wake up, we're having a, a plethora of choices that we have to make uh, from what we're going to wear to what we're going to, you know, how we're going to wash our bodies, um, you know, to what we're going to put into our bodies as fuel. And one thing I want us to understand is that the body needs energy and everything around us is conducive to energy. Okay. Your car needs fuel. You need fuel and everything else that we uh, work with uh, outside of even our bodies requires for the most part some type of fuel whether it be electricity whether it be water powered whether it be solar powered whether it be um, you know um, electrical powered or all these other different ways it really needs energy and your body is no different and so when we're talking about choices we really have to understand that that's the precipice that's the mesopotamia of where a healthy lifestyle resides. It resides in the mental health of the individual, okay? When you wake up in the morning, you have a choice to make between what you're gonna eat for breakfast. You can very well go get that sausage and egg and biscuit sandwich, or you can go get uh, fruits and vegetables. You can very well drink your orange juice or your coffee and your soda, or you can just cleanse your body with water, you see? For lunch, you can very well go get a salad, all right, and a soup and be okay. Or you can go get some burgers or fries, a chicken sandwich, and some fries, all right? But what I want you to understand as far as how to live a healthy lifestyle is that it first starts with the choices that we make, the mental uh, uh, ingenuity and the fortitude that we have to do the right things by ourselves and for ourselves and to ourselves okay and so that's pretty much where it starts and if you can understand energy then you say well what do i need to get me to lunch right fruit fruit is the best thing you can have in the morning that will give you enough good fuel that you can burn all the way until lunch and then when you refuel at lunch you can say well give me a salad and a soup or and I'm talking about a big robust salad, all right? And some soup if you can if you can hold that down. Otherwise, just do a real good salad, right? That's going to give you some good energy to get you to dinner. And then when you get to dinner, you have to look at what you're doing. So at around dinner time, you're probably at home, you're probably on the downslope when it comes to what you're gonna be doing active-wise, right? And so if that's the case, I don't need anything heavy when I'm not really going to be up in the ante on any activities that I'm going to be doing. So then why would I put a heavy laden meal on my body that I cannot burn out? Why would I give my body this ultimate pack of energy when there's no exuding of that energy? All right. So that's how we got to kind of think. You don't really need energy to go to sleep. So when that dinner comes, then you need something that will allow you to go into the sleep. And so when you understand that, now you understand why people can't go to sleep because it's a lot of times based on the heavy meals that we just had that you can't go to sleep on or that you uh, can't stay to sleep on or that you're not uh, digesting or you're not assimilating or absorbing right or the fact that you're gaining weight because you're eating close to the time of bed, you're putting energy on the body that will not be active enough to burn that energy off. So when we look at things from an energy standpoint, then just eat based on what you need to get you through to the next point, all right? So fruits will get you to lunch, all right? A robust salad can get you to dinner, all right? But dinner, you need to be tapering off. 
you need to be tapering off. You really don't need a whole lot of energy to go to sleep. You see what I'm saying? And so that's the kind of things that we got to understand when we're talking about how we're going to live a healthy lifestyle. How is it that I'm going to be able to uh, do the things that I want to do um, in my life? It really truly all starts with the choices and based on the choices we carve out, we, we uh, tend to make a roadmap to where we're going to end up, all right? And if we uh, continue to make unhealthy choices, then we're going to live an unhealthy lifestyle, okay? If we can incorporate some healthy choices inside of our lives, then we'll have a better chance of living somewhat of a healthy life. It is really simple, but it always goes back to the choices that we make. And so what I'm saying is when you're able to make these choices, when you're embedded with these choices, which is going to happen in probably just the next few minutes after watching this video or the next few seconds, you got to figure out what you're going to feed your children. What I'm saying is think about what energy you need. What is, what is the goal at hand? If you're about to go to sleep, then you don't need that much to eat. But in the morning when you're preparing for work, you need energy to get you through. You need mental energy, you need physical energy, and you need spiritual energy. And all of these are in fruits and waters for breakfast. All right. At lunchtime, you need a little bit more because you need to get you through all the way till dinner. Right. Which normally not just when you get off, but you're going to have a few more hours, normally six or seven. Most people get off about four. You get now you got to prepare dinner around six or seven. Most people are in bed around nine or ten. You see what I'm saying? So at dinner, you have to ask yourself, what are we eating for? What are we about to do after dinner? Well, if everybody's about to go to sleep, then I don't need to really be making a energy packed dinner. I need to make something that would coincide with us tapering down and benefiting us going to sleep. So again, I'm telling you about choices, but I'm also giving you some kind of understanding of maybe how to think. You can still do it your way. But when you put things in a certain perspective, that can sometimes help people understand how they need to think about things. And so this is just my perspective and my opinion that if you keep it in an energy-based understanding of what I need this fuel for, you know, it's just like your car, you know, you're not going to put $20 of gas in your car to go out of state. You're going to fill it up. But when you just need to go up the road or when you just need to get to the job and back, you may chance the $20. You, you know that that $20 is enough energy to get you back and forth to where you need to go. But you also know that if I go long distance, I need more energy to get me back and forth. And if you can utilize that same concept as we do our machineries and our tools and all of these um, uh, external things that we do, then we can use them for ourselves, all right? So I didn't want to make this video long, but you know your homie did want to make it strong, man. So go tell somebody, go tell somebody about this video and go tell somebody your homie is on. I love you guys and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. And until next time, peace. Yes, sir. New day.